welcome to my channel. From today, I want to start a new series of uh, learning record uh, about uh, one another, uh, the architecture modeling tool, uh, which is the, uh, coming from the Spark systems. Uh, I hope some of you uh, may have an op opportunity to use this already. Uh, to me, is uh, in our companies we have the uh, license uh, to the enterprise architect, uh, their primary tool, uh, and I got a chance uh, to upgrade to their uh, six, version 16. Uh, and I want to uh, learn uh, if you uh, have uh, interest uh, or if you have new uh, to this tool, uh, you can go to sparksystems.com uh, and I, uh, I believe you can get a lot of information yourself. And what I want to go through during this series of video is uh, based on this very uh, comprehensive uh, the tutorial. Uh, which is a start uh, from getting started and to the different uh, modeling uh, aspect uh, introduction. I hope, uh, to me, it's also the first time go through this uh, tutorial in such a uh, detailed way. So I hope it's uh, during my learning uh, on, uh, and we can together to do some modeling work uh, to based on the tutorial, uh, which are the basic sample. Uh, and uh, also, uh, I hope is, uh, we can try to find out what's the uh, good and uh, also not uh, not so good thing uh, areas of uh, Spark's uh, enterprise architect. And I also hope is, uh, uh, to me, the, this is not any uh, having the uh, preference on whether this is a good tool or bad tool. I just wanted to uh, like also uh, share with you, uh, treat this as just uh, another tool. And uh, the name is uh, Enterprise Architect. Uh, and I prepare is uh, one uh, more page uh, to share with you. So if you got a chance to uh, have this uh, Gartner report, uh, so they uh, published last year, 2022, uh, one magic quant uh, quadrant uh, about the enterprise architecture tool. Uh, since I'm uh, working as the enterprise architect, uh, this is a very relevant uh, research report. Uh, through here, uh, you can see some, uh, some interesting, uh, let me make that uh, bigger, uh, the distinguish. Uh, so, uh, uh, as in my channel, uh, you see uh, many uh, videos I talking about uh, Archie, using Archie, Archimate modeling tool to do the Archie assurance and the Archie metal, <coughs> and also the numbers of these tips. Uh, but Archie is not within uh, this uh, repo. Uh, the key reason is uh, Archie is our open source uh, modeling tool. Uh, if, uh, they are not uh, uh, jump, uh, participate in such kind of uh, commercial tools uh, uh, evaluation. Uh, also, uh, I cannot say Spark system enterprise architect here. Uh, but in my previously uh, introduction, uh, I uh, mentioned some tool uh, in my practice. Uh, recently, I use uh, enterprise architecture solution. So this is our uh, the essential uh, project, uh, which also are uh, having uh, one open source uh, edition and our cloud edition. Uh, this uh, EA solution uh, in 2022 is categorized as the visionary, the only visionary EA tool. And a lot of the tools uh, within this uh, leader uh, part is our interest. Uh, we have uh, some uh, experience uh, to talk about Obers, uh, LeanX. LeanX is also coming from quite uh, good from the application lifecycle, application portfolio. Uh, Biz Design, uh, they are uh, deeply involved with uh, Open Group uh, and certain the Archimate uh, language are also uh, having the business, uh, Biz Design's uh, involvement. Uh, RDoc, uh, we uh, also got a, a kind of chance uh, to talk with them. Uh, 
before. And also Mega is the Mega tool is the uh, is also a kind of the uh, the enterprise architecture tool uh, with the modeling. So all those uh, inside this uh, uh, the uh, this diagram are the code is uh, enterprise architecture tool. Uh, so, uh, to me, it's the first question is uh, where is the Spark uh, Spark Systems uh, Enterprise Architect? Because naming is Enterprise Architect, but uh, it is not showing here. Uh, possible is uh, we will expect is uh, whether or not uh, in the New Year's 2023 uh, we can see that. Uh, but to me, uh, the one uh, the big uh, the uh, the introduction or the understanding uh, for our tool uh, is coming from their own words. So if you come to their website, uh, I found this uh, some of their uh, own uh, statement from this about page. Uh, I also put that uh, uh, here. So uh, if you put uh, see uh, this page, uh, then I extract uh, four key uh, message uh, in my understanding. So first, uh, is uh, the site is uh, Sparks uh, Systems uh, specialized uh, where uh, they are specialized in the visual modeling tool uh, and specific for the software intensive system. Uh, so from this part, uh, to me is uh, uh, Sparks System. I hope is uh, I can learn more from with uh, from their tool. It's more on the visual modeling. Uh, so it's uh, in the different uh, angle. So uh, if you do our enterprise architecture, definitely you need to do some modeling work. Uh, but at the same time, I see you also need to do the repository uh, setup and uh, re maintaining and growing your repository. So without a repository, you cannot uh, create your enterprise architecture. Uh, so uh, modeling is uh, one good thing. Uh, the Archi, uh, Archimate tool is also starting from the visual modeling, uh, but with our uh, CoArchi plugin, uh, Archi can provide you the collaboration, uh, the, uh, the capability, and you can uh, really build our repository and to serve your different uh, layers based on the open group Archimate, uh, different layer architecture uh, the building. Uh, so first sentence, uh, to me, uh, Spark's system can do the modeling, definitely. Secondly, is uh, Spark's system, uh, not like uh, Archie. Archie is uh, quite close uh, linking to the Archimate and then linking to the open group, similar like uh, the uh, BIS design. Uh, and uh, but uh, Spark's system mentioned is uh, they are the leading vendor, so they are uniqueness uh, in the UML. Uh, so uh, they also as the big contributing member for the uh, the object uh, member uh, management group. Uh, so that also are model driven development uh, based on the open standards. So uh, UML is published from this OMG, uh, and also uh, the. Uh, the Spark X, uh, they also, uh, uh, Sparks, uh, the system, they also mentioned uh, they are intense to use by many different roles, uh, almost everyone. But uh, uh, bear in mind here, or uh, be noticed here, is uh, the almost everyone involved in the software development. Uh, within those uh, roles, they themselves identified, I didn't see architect, uh, uh, the specific. So uh, we see architect, uh, but uh, quite possible. I, I hope is uh, is talking about a software uh, application architect. Possible also including the system architect. Uh, and if based on the UML, if we can do some data modeling, possible including the information architect. Uh, but how they can serve uh, the enterprise architect uh, or the business architect? Because uh, later on, you can see within their uh, the templates, uh, you can also see some uh, business architecture guild uh, from this uh, biz block. Uh, the templates you can find and. Uh, you also find this uh, can find some requirements, motivation, strategy uh, diagram. Uh, starting the uh, visual modeling, I believe uh, it is uh, perfect. Uh, 
uh, support by the sparks. Uh, but uh, let's uh, together uh, through the uh, those uh, common videos and uh, the practice uh, all together, uh, let's uh, find uh, uh, what's the uh, best fits uh, of uh, Sparks systems uh, in our day-to-day uh, -day work. Uh, uh, from my uh, enterprise architect point of view, uh, I think it's, uh, we um, should not stick uh, to only one tool. Uh, we uh, should uh, open our mind and uh, to try to utilize uh, uh, our two sides, including the multiple tool from multiple vendor if you have the opportunity. Uh, and the most important is uh, you understand uh, which tool has the which unique advantage. And then when you come to our specific uh, scenario, uh, you are able to picking up the right tool to serve your purpose. Uh, for example, to me now, uh, the, uh, uh, the essential EA tool can build our uh, repository uh, and they can build based on the ontology and go give that uh, publish to the, uh, the, the web-based uh, the, those views. Uh, our key tool uh, we use quite uh, several years and they can do the modeling. Uh, adding the uh, repository uh, through the co collaboration suite. Uh, they are also can serve uh, enterprise architecture work uh, as well as a system architect, a solution architect, day-to-day uh, -day, uh, the visual modeling. Uh, the, uh, uh, those are, uh, also we have uh, uh, the mega tool, uh, mega uh, the systems, uh, they can also build the repository. Uh, even as uh, uh, we have uh, still uh, using uh, the GIO, the for example, uh, to do some hands-on, uh, just ad hoc, uh, the drawing. Uh, but uh, keep in mind is uh, try to prevent to do a lot of ad hoc uh, drawing. Uh, we almost uh, drop off uh, the whistle uh, uh, from because every whistle tool uh, you can only treat that as a separate tool, a separate diagram, and they are, uh, there are no linkage, uh, so you cannot treat them uh, within the relationship uh, in the uh, repository manner. Uh, but uh, from my initial uh, usage before uh, for the Sparks, uh, I, I can feel is uh, the enterprise architect uh, tool under Sparks can not only do the visual modeling, but also they are uh, having the repository uh, man site, and we can try to connect uh, the element uh, the, with those uh, relations, uh, properties, and uh, give them different perspective. Uh, so to me, uh, this will be our, uh, uh, our very uh, interesting and challenging uh, journey to grasp uh, what's the Sparks uh, systems uh, that is uh, EA2 uh, can serve our day-to-day -day work. I also hope it's uh, through this uh, uh, try, uh, you can also feel some uh, the, uh, the perspective uh, from your own and then uh, try to adopt uh, this uh, tool uh, in some of your work. Uh, thank you for uh, your watching until now. Uh, what I uh, have done is uh, uh, I put uh, this, uh, the learning, uh, the materials uh, into uh, one another repository under my uh, GitHub. Uh, the site is called enterprise underscore architecture. Uh, and here I create a Sparks uh, folder. Uh, and uh, here we only have uh, one file until now is this uh, mind manager. Uh, what I will uh, start to track uh, is uh, we will uh, use this uh, mind map to uh, uh, go through uh, this uh, Sparks uh, EA tool, uh, this uh, tutorial. Uh, so from here, you can see I started to have this uh, uh, structure, uh, and now we uh, 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 we just mentioned this uh, this as our starting point, and the next video we will go to. Uh, the uh, welcome, and uh, we see uh, the uh, uh, the background for this uh, tool. Then we starting to make some initial uh, modeling uh, uh, later on. Uh, thank you for watching.